Well, <clears throat> it is the evening after Shabbat, and we have 30 18 packs to pick. And um, <clears throat> once we get those picked, we'll be done. So tonight we're hoping, we'll see how it goes, we're hoping to get 8 to 10, and that means all day Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday evening. If we could match that, we'll be done and be able to enjoy Monday morning a little bit more. If not, then we'll be picking really hard late into tomorrow night and until we're done. Um, if we don't have our 33 uh, tomorrow evening, we'll pretty much, I mean, if we only have one or two left, we'll go in, we'll sleep for a few hours, get up and take care of the last two or so. But if we have like seven or eight, uh, at the end of Sunday, you know, by midnight Sunday, we'll be picking until we're done. Um, we don't want to do that. We've had a lot of those nights. We're praying that we can hit it, hit it hard, and get it done. Um, here they are. They're just starting on that first bush. We got everybody kind of congregated around one bush. Apparently, it's a good one. And they're just going at it. nice uh, small to mid-sized berries but they're nice berries and they're very good here's mama look how pretty she is here she is picking her blackberries well guys I may or may not be back on tonight um, we're hoping in three four hours to get our quota for the night so this uh, part of the diary of the blackberry season um, may be continued later we'll see all right bye well, it's Sunday evening now. We have our big order tomorrow. We were we picked some this afternoon, and we must have just gone a little too long, and we lost a lot of a lot of our blackberries. We had um, several cases that got overheated, and we're just going to have to see um, after cooling them down what happens. We have more than half our blackberries we have to pick tonight to make make our order, and I. I don't know. There's a lot of good blackberries around. Everything's kind of starting to go ripe. In fact, from the look of it, most of this, most of our blackberries should be done by the middle of next week, maybe the end of next week at the latest. We'll see. We may, we may be lucky to get through this week. So we're, we are planning on picking and picking and picking and getting as much as we can um, to market. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Here's here's Caleb. We just up fresh from a five-hour nap. Look at him. He's just thrilled. <laughs> now, Caleb. He's one of our quicker pickers when he's wide awake. He's just going to town. We found hanging these these little pails here which hold three or three and a half four clam shells um, really helps speed things up you got both hands you can pick up the vines and really go to town picking on them you enjoying your blackberry season uh-uh <laughs> he has a better time whenever he starts thinking about the money that he's gonna make all right gotta get busy Nai, how are you fine I'm holding down a couple of big vines that pulled down a bunch of these big clusters to in reach. There's a, oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> not many things better than working with your family. That's right. Say that again. There's not many things better than working together as a family. Yep. It's been real good for us, hasn't it? Yep, it has been. It's exhausting, but we're the kids are learning hard work. I mean, I'm learning hard work too. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hard worker. I thought what I did was hard work. I don't think it is. This is much harder work. You appreciate hard work now, huh? I do.
Tell them what you thought the first day. I thought I was going to die the first day. Literally fall on the ground and die. We were picking, we picked like 13 hours that day? Yep. And today, how long are we going to pick? Uh, through we, the night. We picked how many this morning? We picked uh, about five hours this morning. And then we got another 10. Yeah, 10 Nine or 12. 10. And she's just, look at her, she's just ready to go. <laughs> and Anaya, she's thrilled. She loves working out here now. Waking up early. I do. Huh? I do. See, I know it sounded like a question, but that was an answer. That was a <laughs> statement. It was a statement, I do. Uh -uh. I hope you don't answer your husband like that at the in front of the minister one day. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <laughs> There's JJ down there, braving it out, going sleeveless along with his brother. There's Caleb going sleeveless. Look at him. I never wear sleeves. He's a picking machine. Caleb can keep up with me. He's pretty good. JJ's getting better. Anaya's pretty good. She she almost keeps up with Caleb. And Mama Is keeps up with us. Those are all too soft right. up there. No, Sorry, Anaya. What was We're having an issue. Why don't you ah, grab a soft one? Get it. Here, soft. hang on one sec. Let me let me let this go. Let me hang on. I'm letting go, and I'm gonna grab it up higher and pull them down lower. Ooh, wow. Oh no, oh, I ripped that one. There you go. Soft. That's too soft, and that's just. And the, what we're saying is, it it's that's just it. not going to last on the shelf as long. They taste delicious. They're pure sugar. <laughs> that's the ones we really like, are the really soft ones. But when you're putting them in a grocery store, you want shelf life. That's what they're asking for. Um, so you sacrifice a little bit of the sweetness and the the juiciness, but we got to pick them a little bit on the firm side. Otherwise, they'll only last a day or two and start molding, and then we have customers who don't want our product anymore. Well, we, uh, we, we got done maybe an hour ago and uh, cleaned out the back of the vehicle and had put together some more boxes. It's, uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, yeah, we got done little after five we started last night about seven at dinner took about 30 45 minutes for dinner that was a long night but you know what we were able to do it we got through it and we got another good order 50 cases total going out today and uh, I think we're gonna try to do another 50 either Thursday or Friday and um, Gotta wait and see how the berries look. We're not sure if they're gonna be ripe enough to get 50 cases on Thursday. So anyhow, we're we're plugging along. Uh, blackberry season is just around the corner from being done. Um, not a whole lot of red berries in the cooler spots down near the creek. There's some green berries and. Um, Anyhow, we're, I'm filling up the tank. Uh, my parents got in town, and my mom and my wife are gonna go take the delivery tomorrow, so that's gonna help me out, because I'm, I'm going home, taking a shower, and going to bed. Um, I'm one tired puppy. So anyhow, um, hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's a whole lot of some of the same scenes over and over again, but this will help me out next year in trying to remember some of the things we're working on. We're going to really focus over the fall and winter on getting our rows cut, nice wide walk pads. I'm going to make them extra wide so that we have room for new growth to come in. We're also going to cut them down shorter where we can, and uh, so we can uh, be able to reach it all. Uh, we've got some of our best berries 
they're they're out of reach we got to have a ladder to get to them also I want to put in drip irrigation all the way down both sides of my driveway with with uh, with the irrigation coming off to the, each of the rows that'll provide us with much larger berries we'll be able to feed some liquid fertilizer like worm tea worm casting tea worm cast tea and um, probably some oh I don't know what am I thinking of um, I really can't even think straight right now um, compost tea um, we're gonna probably get I don't know maybe six to eight bags of azomite clay just depending on the price and we're gonna spread that out and that'll give the berries a little, all the minerals they should need for extreme extremely good flavor and extremely good sweetness so we got a lot of work we got a lot of dead trees laying down in some of these areas I got to clean those out I got other dead trees still standing for safety reasons I need to cut those down so there's a lot a lot a lot of work that needs to be done between now and next blackberry season now that this season um, it's short you know this is the beginning of our third week um, we could have had it a week before we started um, we were just still getting everything together but we could have started a week earlier than we did and kind of regret we didn't we lost a lot of berries because we didn't start earlier a lot of berries um, by the time we got to them they were just too soft to to uh, package up and put in a grocery store so anyhow we're hoping we're hoping we're praying that maybe we can do a total of 300 cases 300 cases would be a good first year for us experiencing all of this learning how to do it um, there's a lot let me tell you something there is a a whole lot that goes into um, doing something like this there's there's just more than I want to get into right now I can tell you this my stress levels before before we got going my stress levels were just super high um, I was roofing I was trying to work with my friend doing some of our software programming and and then um, trying to get all of this together so that we could uh, so we could have a our first blackberry season full on in this manner you know we've never done anything with our blackberries on this scale ever so it's gonna be nice it'll be a little extra income this year hopefully next year we can at least double if not triple what we did this year and that would be that would be huge heck double or triple what we're doing per week and add at least another week onto it that would be that would be really big really really big so we're almost home. It's time to get a shower. You can see my hands, they're all purple. We have been picking, picking, picking. So it's time to go to bed now. Time for some sleep. All right guys, talk to you later.